Hi guys, Sinead again, Salam, Mukhanet, I hope you guys are well. I hope you listened to what I had to say early on. It's been a hectic day, a very nice day actually. So uh, those guys at the Dung Beetle Company, uh, Samsung, Amabungani, they got a bit of a PK. Um, <laughs> the locals know what that means. And they're very sore and upset about it. But the reality is that they were wrong. They stole our stuff and stealing is never okay. And I can say they stole it because you see, and before I get into this topic, I just want you entrepreneurs to understand something up, out there. It's not okay for us to be, as I said, sidelined. For 20 years of my life, I have never been going back and reporting what I thought was right under the circumstances. I do, however, think it's wrong for me to keep quiet now. I'm on my own, I'm not with Moti Group. Donda is doing a fantastic job, but I'm annoyed about this. I'm annoyed about the fact that these journalists, and I don't want to generalize because I love journalists, but I'm talking about when I say these journalists, I'm talking about Ama Bungane and Sam So and those creatures. I'm talking about those guys. What they think, if it's okay to steal and take out your little badge and says, but I'm a journalist, it's not okay. The law has to deal with you if you're a thief. And why I say they're thieves? Because in the documents that they filed, nowhere did they ever deny that they did not receive stolen goods, even though Paul O'Sullivan and ourselves, myself, Moti Group, informed them many times. They said to them, listen, you, you have stolen stuff. Please be careful. But they did nothing about it. They, instead, what they did is they took all of that stuff and there was this attorney that came along. And I'll discuss him later on of how he lied to us in the beginning. But the reality is Sam Saul went and took this stuff and put it on his server overseas. Why? Because he knows it's stolen. That's why. But the point I'm making with you entrepreneurs out there is if I don't stand up for myself, I don't expect you to stand up for yourself. You make a bit of money, you become a little bit success, you have a bit of success, and you get people that come along and create a narrative that can destroy your reputation. I do not want you guys to be like that. I'd like for that to change. I'd like that our particular rights are also protected. But coming back to how, how's the easiest way for me to explain it, and I know all of you love cars, so I'm gonna give you this. So you have a motor vehicle, someone steals it from you and gives it to Sam Sol. Sam Sol then immediately takes it and sends it to Swaziland, but sends me pictures of my car and says, hey, it's a nice car, how many kilometers you got on it? Tell me where you bought it. And I say, where's my stolen car? And he says, well, I don't have it. It's in Swaziland. And I go like, but indirect or indirect control of my car, it's a stolen product, please return it. It's a, not exactly the same, but similar to that. And then goes, drives it, comes back, uses the motor vehicle and goes like, you can't do me anything. I'm not in South Africa. You can't attach it. This is the same scenario, guys. It's a very simplistic example of what he's done. And then he gets fancy lawyers to say that he doesn't have possession of it, so he's okay with it. Then he sends mails to me and shows me these articles or, show, or these documents. But the reality is it's not okay to steal. It's never okay to steal. But if you're a journalist, it seems that some journalists seem to want to flash the journalist card and say, but I'm a journalist. I can steal. I can print everything and anything. I'm doing this because there's a lot of corporates out there and individuals that would not like what happened to me to happen to them. And it's not fair. But yet he goes and spins a story now around with the rest of the media and creates a narrative again. We're all together. They all support what I'm doing. What they don't know is that he's unethical. What they don't know is that he's a criminal. Anyway, enough of serious talk. That's about stealing. Don't steal if you're a journalist. To all the young journalists out there, please, let this not be a good example for you. Let this be a bad example. Journalism is a beautiful profession. I support it. In fact, last week I was going to give out three um, uh, study programs for journalists or supporting uh, bursaries for them. And I'm still going to do it because I think there's an opportunity for us to change some of the, the narrative around what a good journalist is. And we certainly know that the Muga Amma Mugani guys, they're not good journalists. But I'll come back to you on, and further and go on to other subjects later on.